Would you like your water with a splash of lead? Work parties to save the Gulf? And UK's Green Government slashes eco-initiatives? This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, May 27th. The EPA estimates that 20% of human exposure to lead comes from our drinking water. The culprit? Killer kitchen faucets. Under current federal law, new lead-free faucets can contain as much as 4% lead, while household faucets manufactured in the last 15 years may contain up to 4 ounces of lead composite. Meanwhile, in a study by the Los Angeles Unified School District, 30% of school drinking fountains sampled were found to dispense water with unsafe levels of lead. Scientists warn that even small amounts of lead exposure can lead to impaired cognition and nervous system disorders. Now, here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. Nearly 40 days after the blowout, oil is still leaking into the Gulf of Mexico. While it feels like this unprecedented disaster will never end, there are ways you can make a difference. HuffPost Green is partnering with Meetup.com to encourage people to meet in person to brainstorm and take action to help in the Gulf. Over 200 groups and nearly 1,000 people have already signed up to meet on June 8th, which is World Ocean Day. No meetup in your town? Start one. Go to HuffPost Green to find out more about how you can get involved. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, a week is a long time in politics. Shortly after the newly elected Prime Minister David Cameron vowed that his coalition administration would be the greenest government ever, it was announced that £250 million will be slashed from conservation and green building schemes to help balance the budget. That's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.